डियर स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माय इंग्लिश क्लास ऑफ ग्रेड टेन इन टूडेज क्लास स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव यूनिट नंबर सिक्सटीन एंड वी हैव रीडिंग पार्ट टू फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर सिक्सटीन एंड वी हैव पोएम दैट इज सक्सेस एंड सेलिब्रेशन इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट अ पोएम रिटर्न बाय दैट इज रून यार्ड किफलिंग इज द राइटर ऑफ दिस पोएम and before we start the poem we have some questions here the first one is uh, what condition uh, do you think one has to fulfill to be a successful person in his life uh students uh, there are so many factors and conditions that influence uh, someone's success and uh, there are so many factors like uh, such as honesty integrity and discipline we are and fearless also and motivated and dreamers there are so many factors that one has to fulfill to be a successful in life and uh, b number is uh, which of them have you been following uh i think students so one has to follow so many factors so many conditions so if one has to be a successful in life uh, i think uh, all the points uh, which i have mentioned here uh, discipline and uh, and motivation and honesty these are some main important factors that one has to follow and uh, yes of course we all have been following all these factors uh students so uh, it's all about your question now we have poem if the name of the poem is if so here we start the first stanza uh through this poem students uh uh the poet wants to give advice to his son and here uh we start the first stanza here if you can keep your head when you are when you all about you are uh, losing theirs and blaming it on you you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but to men allowance for their doubting too if you can keep your head when all about you are being hated don't give way to hated and yet don't look to good not talk to wise a uh, students through this poem a writer uh, advises uh, his son uh, by saying that uh, when others fail and when others fail and please blame on you and uh, the poet advises his son through this poem to be composed and patient you know one he has to be you know um, you know very composed and patient so when other question him whenever other question him he should have faith in uh, himself he should be confident and he should however also allow for their uh, so skepticism and make an effort to uh, comprehend what promoted it and uh, uh, poet again says the advice is uh, waiting patiently for success not uh, growing weary while waiting in the fifth line in the fifth line students uh, uh, since those who work hard and are persistent will succeed he focuses he emphasizes in fifth line that one who works hard are successful a poet then warn also you know along with the suggestion poet wants to warn him uh, that other people will frequently mislead him may they the people can mislead him and uh, he should however always be genius and should never lie in his life and uh, uh poet also says that he should not lie in his life people will this uh, you know despise him but instead of uh, uh, you know but instead of returning their you know hatred he ought to uh, show them love so instead of uh, you know uh, having you know hate feeling but he should love them in the final line uh, the poet caution him against you know he again caution the boy and his son against seeming or sounding too knowledgeable or superior to other since if he follows all the advice given above and the kid would appear and sound superior to other and appear too intelligent so in the first stanza poet wants to advise as well as his warning his son and how and uh, and uh, how and uh, why he can be a successful in his life and along with advice he he is being also warned by the poet so it's a uh, first stanza and now move to the next stanza here the second stanza we have students uh, if you can dream and not make dreams your master if you can think and not make thoughts your aim if you can meet with triumph and disaster 
and treat those who impose or in here's the you know some vocabs here you know new words unfamiliar words triumph means victory impose or fraud and uh, if you can bear to hear the truth you have spoken or watched the things you gave your lives to broken and stoop is bent down and built him up with stone our tools uh through the second stanza poets again uh wants to give advice to his son that uh, uh you know poet advises him also to have huge aspiration but to never let those dream rule his life he again says that uh, he should not uh, let uh, those dreams to rule his life uh, similarly to this he ought to have positive idea and he has uh, he must have positive idea uh, but he should not make them the focus of his life and because success is life required you no know, because success in life requires many efforts and hard work so this is what a poet wants to say about uh, success he says that he should not uh, you know let those dreams rule his life and uh, success is all about uh, efforts and hard work this is what he wants to say again he simplifies uh, you know daydreaming also pondering won't get uh, you anywhere in life you know uh, one should have a real dream not daydream can lead him uh, you know a successful person to and uh, therefore it's important to set a goal in his life therefore it's important uh, to set objective and uh, envision a better future and work di- diligently towards achieving their goal so one should have one should be very disciplined one should be motivated and fearless towards uh, his goal this is poet wants to say through this poem again poet advises uh, meeting also you know triumph here means uh, you know victory a triumph is victory again the poet advise the victory and the disaster also you know and treating those two imposter imposter means frauds frauds uh, and uh, equally in the third sentence he says uh, uh, the words triumph and disaster triumph and disaster have their initial letter capitalized here and these two extreme characters existence the poet refers to them as a fake or imposter the poet says uh, they should not uh, uh, take them seriously okay so there are the triumph and disaster and uh, imposter you know or uh, the son uh, you should not uh, take it seriously the poet again advises speaking just the truth and having the guts to con- confront when it uh, it's being used to deceive people in, you know in the fifth land he also says that uh, uh, he should always speak truth and he should have also have the fortitude of rebuild things and he has built that are broken and using outdated tools that's using the energy or ability you now possess uh here is a uh, in this uh, through this poem uh poet wants to advise his son he should uh, have real dream he should not uh, a thought of daydream you know and uh, and one uh, triumph and there are there may be many troubles uh, in his life and impost and disaster he should not take it seriously and uh, uh, lastly uh, po- you know writer says poet says that uh, he should use uh, use the energy or ability that you have so uh, through this poem uh, he again encourages his son about his life now move to its uh, third stanza here uh, third stanza students twisted by knaves is a uh, knaves is a scoundrel to make a trap for fools if you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on a one turn to pitch and toss toss you know it's a gambling pitch and toss is the word which is used for gambling and uh, loss and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss uh if you can force your heart and nerve and nerve and sinew it's a muscle to sob your tongue long after they are gone and so hold on when there is nothing in your except the will which is to them hold on uh very clearly again the poet increases his son about you know he advises making 
uh, pile of all one's accomplishment before taking significant and important risk. In other words, one should be uh, frightened to try new things. Yes, uh, one should be very frightened to try new things or end up being, uh, you know, because uh, they may either help them succeed or end up being disaster. Pitch and toss means gambling. And uh, if one fails after taking significant and important risk, he should retry from the beginning without reflecting on discussing the setback with others. So through this uh, stanza, again, poet encourages his son, okay, never give up, okay, attitude. With the never give up attitude, one has to move ahead. And one fails after taking so many important risks, he should retry again from the beginning without and discussing and without uh, talking to each other, uh, to, you know, without uh, um, taking any suggestion from other, and uh, so that he has to, you know, he should keep going on. And uh, yes, son, you should keep trying until you succeed. Means one should uh, try, keep trying until he succeed. Again, poet advises using one one's heart knob. You know, heart knobs here the word, and uh, that is used for the. Um, knob and the, uh, it's a sinew, it's a muscle, okay, and the sinew muscle and uh, bravery when uh, one grows weary or fails in the, uh, this is in the fifth line, or uh, when this, the, uh, there is nothing left in life, one should possess a strong will that may inspire them to hold one. In the final line, again, poet says, uh, students, that if one has nothing, if one has, uh, you know, uh, one has lost everything in his life then uh, he should uh, one should possess a strong bill you know bill should be there and that will really inspire him to hold on means this will will really uh, is going to help him to move forward and uh, if he lost everything in his life uh, this is all poet wants to again uh, increase his, his son about the life and uh, through this poem, again, poet time and again increases his son about the life and uh, about the success and uh, failure. And now fourth stanza here. And uh, okay, now it's again. If you can talk with the crowd and keep your virtue or walk with king or lost the common touch. If neither for is the opponent nor loving friend can hurt you, if all men count with you but none too much, if you can fill the un, uh, unforgiving minutes with sixty second worth of distance run. Yours is the earth and everything that's that's in it, and which is more, you will be man, my son. In the last stanza, again, poet, uh, according to the poet, you know, in the last stanza, according to the poet. Uh, here students if you can talk with the crowd and they keep your virtue and walk with kings or not uh, you know common touch if neither falls nor living friend can hurt you uh, through uh, uh, in the last uh, stanza in the first stanza uh, according to the poet uh, one must maintain their quality among ordinary people it means uh, one has to be stick with his quality uh, among the ordinary people and never act like them and uh, but vanity and ego are never appropriate among uh, you know there should not be ego okay and vanity and that can that may be uh, they uh, that may not be effective there uh, other powerful individuals in in other words the poet is advising people you know they eat the poet also advising people to maintain the quality while they are poor and not to not become it's uh, while they are wealthy you know concited while they are wealthy so means uh, one has to maintain the quality first and uh, next the point again uh, uh, says that one's belief in one's idea and goal prevent one from being harmed by other loving friend or for adversary they should never be abandoned and uh, although uh, other will frequently depend on him he shouldn't ever let uh, them become uh, wholly dependent on him and uh, uh, the poet could be implying that one should never place too much uh, value on other people since doing so will cause one to become emotionally con connected to them and cause
future harm. Uh, again, uh, lastly, a poet again wants to say and a uh, poet discusses the value of the time again in the following verses. He again uh, tells about the value of time. He believes that time is limited and everyone has 24 hours to walk and limited time and uh, will never be. The time once gone never comes back. And therefore, one should start making the most of the every single second of existence. No, means uh, one has to use, make the uh, one has to make the best utilization of time. And uh, the poet informs his son in the final uh, again. Uh, yes, uh, all the counsel he gave above, uh, all the advices he gave above, he will be able to do everything he wants and will be a man. So again, poet last in the last line, poet uh, hope the poet hopes that his son will be able to do everything and whatever uh, po whatever poet uh, have uh, you know suggested his son about life, and uh, he will surely follow all the suggestion given by him, and he will uh, he will do everything he wants, and he will remain of or a genius human, and that's what he a poet wants to say in the final line about his son. And students, this is uh, the poem that we have uh, studied in today's class, uh, written by Rudyard Kipling. It's a very, it's a very inspiring one. And uh, one father, we can say, always, uh, uh, you know, increase his son about the success and about life. So this is what you studied in today's uh, poem here. So if you talk about the conclusion of this poem. Uh, uh, if you talk about the conclusion, students, uh, through this poem, uh, it's all about uh, success here. You know, success never comes from not taking life uh, too seriously. And uh, he also says, in you know, staying loyal to oneself. Again, poet wants to, uh, you know, he focuses on, uh, you know, uh, he always focuses on, uh, you know, taking risk also and not letting emotional control one's action. Uh, you know, basically tells uh, his son to have enough trust and confidence in uh, himself to stay loyal in himself. And one has to be very confident. He, he has to be uh, loyal and uh, very fearless. And uh, he also appears to imply that his son will have faith and confidence since he, he knew himself. Yes, every father knows about his own son, and that's why he uh, he is focusing on his faith and confidence. Uh, uh, it's a self-sustaining loop, students, and a cycle, you know, cycles and endless. According to poet, success is measured by 60-second run rather than by accomplishment, the journey, not destination. And uh, what is important is how we spend our life, not when we die. Okay, so. Important is that it's a how we spend our lives, not we die, not when we die. The everything we can do when we are alive, okay? When we die and we cannot do anything, we cannot, uh, you, know, uh, you know, we cannot apply in our life after we die. So this is the conclusion uh, that uh, about the poem and with that students, uh, I come to an end of today's class here. We will discuss it's a... Uh, exercise solution in the next video.